I started a brand new TikTok channel and I uploaded a video every single day for 30 days. Here's what happens. Today I will teach you what I learned. Plus, I did this because now is the best time where you can actually start the short format videos, uh, basically the horizontal videos, because we are in the middle of a competition. Same like Instagram and Facebook did in the past with Snapchat and they copied the story functionality and now more and more people actually use Instagram instead of Snapchat. They want to try to become the leading platform. But what many people don't know is that TikTok is owned by a very large company in China. It's not TikTok himself, it's Binance. But we have a third player in this game and that is YouTube. Yes, YouTube the platform with the most video content. I don't know if you already noticed but when you open the YouTube app you will actually see shorts and that is basically the answer from YouTube the same like TikTok and Reels. Is it now the best time to start that? I would say yes because shorts get more exposure so if you upload a video immediately lots of people can see the video. In TikTok for example it even works that way it doesn't matter if your channel is large or small always when you upload a video a small percentage of people will see the video and based on their interactions if they like it if they share it then TikTok decides to show that video to more people and then if they like it more and more it will go up and up. I decide I decided to go into a niche because my channel here is all about filmmaking and Premiere Pro. Number one rule if you start anything to become successful you should niche down because when you niche down you will see and find your target audience and then the target audience will interact with your content. Why is this important? For example I want to create a video course in the future with Premiere Pro so I don't even need people to watch those videos that are not interested. What does it mean in return? If you build a business you don't need to have a million followers you just need to write custom and even 1,000 paying customers can make you a successful business. Let's jump into my computer and I will show you what I did. What you see here is my TikTok channel. It's TikTok at x.lima, basically the same that I also have on Instagram. What I did in between, two to three times I uploaded the same video that I also started with at the series just to test out what will actually change because the videos that you upload on TikTok will only be seen for like two or three days and then that's it. The live spam is over and then the new content will be promoted and then again and then again and again. And what I actually realized, the first video got on the first day only 500 views. When I uploaded it again 20 days later, it got 7,800 views. This video alone was one of the main reasons why I gained over 100 followers in just one day. It was possible. When you create a TikTok and you wanna see all of those analytics, you should create a business TikTok. It's super simple, you just have to change it. And when you have the business, you can see it on your phone, the analytics, or you can also go to your browser. And in the browser, you will have this field here where you can change the settings. I downloaded the settings for those 30 days and what you can see here is I gained 748 followers. Why is that interesting? Because my Instagram account, and I'm honest, I didn't follow my own rule. I didn't niche down on my Instagram. I used my Instagram for the same project. My main business is Canada. I published a book there. And so the audience that I have on Instagram is completely mixed. Many of the videos had more views. It didn't convert into followers. And I expect that Instagram mainly posted those videos to the people that already followed me. And while maybe some of them liked it, but didn't really watch it. So Instagram didn't promote it or didn't find the right audience. While on TikTok because I completely started fresh I found the right audience people that really enjoyed that video and interacted and started them following hey it's me from the future I totally forgot hey. to tell hey I totally forgot to tell <laughs> I totally forgot to tell that my Instagram count actually went from 750 down to 700. I expected that people from my old followers would go, but I actually expected that same like in TikTok people would also come and that's why I was so confused about the Instagram numbers. I can go to followers and I can see more in-depth details for the followers. So for example, I can see that my main audience comes from Germany. I think this has to do with two reasons. Number one, and I posted a little bit on my main Instagram channel, a couple of people came over. But then the second point is probably time that I choose. Many times I finish the video in midday, so like 12 o'clock here and around Germany. That means many of the audiences, let's say for example US, that's still in the morning, nobody's really on their phone. So you can also try to figure out when your audience is online the most. Or, and this is my second guess, and I'm not entirely sure if that is true, Maybe it realized that I'm a German user and also published the videos first to German audiences, even if the videos were English. But I'm not entirely sure of that. If you have no more knowledge about this, if you know about this, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know why that is. I was surprised 
to see German audience the highest. Because for example, here on my YouTube channel, the audience is not from Germany. In YouTube, it's really other countries. It's actually the US. What I realized in comparison to the three platforms, YouTube had the least views. The best performing video had 600 views. That's it. So I think it's very hard at the moment to actually find the right audience. But what I'm hoping with YouTube is that over time that you can actually find those videos. So let's say you created a video that is actually also niched down and there's not much competition. That means when people search for it, it can become evergreen and you can monetize it. But when the people actually watch the videos on the YouTube app and actually watch the beta shorts, then there will be no advertising. That means for you as the creator, you also don't make money. Hey, it's me from the future again. I actually just saw a video that YouTube will roll out a monetization monetization program even for the shorts and that will be completely different to the normal monetization system but they will roll it out with selected people in this year but we can look forward that there will be a monetization program but if the people come to my channel and watch the video on my channel so basically clicking here through my channel going to videos and then clicking off one of the videos then the advertisement can run and I can make money throughout the 30 days totally random I cannot tell you which and when and why and also the main income still comes from my videos I already had on my YouTube channel which drives a lot of traffic to my channel but I had fluctuation in those days which I didn't had before from all three platforms now that I tested TikTok was the most fun because I had the fastest interactions gained the most followers and it's nice to see those numbers grow that fast I'm honest with you and this is not even a fast channel so you could start something beauty channel and probably make I don't know 20,000 followers just one month why is it so important to start it right now because we are in the middle of that race all three companies Facebook Google and Biden want to win this war about short video horizontal video format but the advantage for you as a video editor editor, a creator or a small business owner is that you can utilize those short formats and this is for me already the proof it can work and now imagine you do this for two years every single day. You don't have to do it every day but if you can the reason why I stick to a plan like every single day is then I have a schedule and I can upload and publish it and I have to stick to that and then this gives growth over time. I would say that's it. I know this was a super chaotic first video impression but uh, it's also on this channel now I want to just be honest with you. Sometimes the videos are not as easy to create or I'm talking stupid stuff into the camera. I hope you like this video. You learned something from that video. If there are things that you want to see now related to this topic just let me know in the comments. Maybe I will make a second version of that video part two. I will probably make another one after 60 days just to see what is actually going on. On. and if you're now already one of my followers here on my channel welcome and thanks for subscribing if you've seen this video the first time I'm Daniel <laughs> welcome to my channel if you like what you see here and I will mainly go into filmmaking and video editing in the future so if you are into that and you want to learn more subscribe to my channel and if you don't have a TikTok channel yet consider starting one we see us in the next video hit like subscribe and dingle dingle the bang bang gong and that's it I'm Daniel bye